It's just I look quite festive and you don't. Really. I don't look festive enough, that's fine, we'll fix that now. Festive. Yay! So Hello and welcome to Dan's not baking anything. Sometimes he doesn't and he just talks about things instead. He was a bit stuck for a video this week, was our Dan? Yeah. So what we're going to do is make a pile of crap. 1080 did an article wherein they compared YouTubers to characters from The Hunger Games. It was a really highbrow, cutting social commentary piece. That's right, and so we decided we'd go through it together mm -hmm. and see whether or not we agree. Is this lazy and derivative content? <laughs> yes. Well, yes it is. Effie Trinket is Louise. That's She's great. come down into our slums yeah. and seen the way we live and seen and how difficult... And sort of fallen for us a little. Yeah, she has. Yeah. But she still likes to... She's still judge. absolutely one of the capital Oh, 100%. Folk, but... She feels Identifies as well with the common people. That's right. She's a bit like that guy from Pulp. Jarvis Cocker. Yes, Jarvis Cocker. She's a bit like him. She's exactly like Jarvis Cocker. Yeah. Hamish is Kyan. That's so wrong. I would have had Tom as Hamish. Tom is... Um, Cynical. I was going to say an alcoholic. But also very well-meaning, with a good heart. He does like to take people under his wing. And he'll do he? it in a really cynical, sarcastic, bitchy way. Yeah. But he'll do it. He'll do it. Drunk. Finnick O'Dare is Jack Howard. That's just so wrong. It's just wrong. Finnick is the keeper of secrets. Right. He, he's, well, sold his body, really, for the secret. And if there's any YouTuber like that, it's... You. Me. He's just kind of there, mm. in the background, just gathering all these secrets, and you're you're like that. He doesn't sell his body, sell, he sells I, food. Yeah, I cook for people and they tell me stuff. He exchanges food for secrets. So it's like how he prostitutes himself. Only with less venereal disease. And with more custard. The next one, this is... <laughs> this is my favourite change. Got Plutarch and Kieran O'Brien. <laughs> what happened was they got stuck. <laughs> Once again, someone looks vaguely similar to someone. It's a it's a tenuous link and they've stuck Kieran in and no. No. Plutarch is the one who is leading the revolution. He's cerebral. Yeah. He's kind of like yeah. under the radar but playing an incredible game. Ooh. Cerebral. Yeah. Kieran not is so none much. of those not things. Not so much. He doesn't have the wherewithal, quite frankly. He doesn't, does he? No. <laughs> so who did we say was Plutarch? We're going to put Ben in we're gonna, we, we were going to put Ben there and we were going to make Kieran... What's his name? Well, this is my favourite one. Picture the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran is... Pollux. What's Pollux? The guy on the camera crew with Cressida. He's mute, you can't see. <laughs> the silent cameraman who just does the bidding of Cressida. I'm so happy with that. That, Kieran that is to me is perfect. That is that is not Pollux. It sounds like bollocks. Right. This is a running theme with 1080. They've got President Coin, the evil firm leader. Borderline of... sort of fascist leader of the rebellion. Yeah. And for that they've picked uh you. I complained at first and then slowly saw... You thought about it again. She means well. But she you gets know what? it wrong. She gets shit done. Yeah. And if I'm being honest, I feel like democracy is flawed. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> a handsome uh, Hemsworth, you know, Ed. Adonis, yeah. Yeah. Gay or Hawthorne, yeah. they've gone with... Who's this chap? Who's... That's... Oh, it's you, me! Dan. It's me! It's you. I think that's inspired. So who's Gail then? Pete, Pete, Pete. Not Peter, Pete. Pete. Pete's jam, Pete. Yeah. Yeah. Pete. Pete. Yeah. Pete, Pete, Pete. Pete. Pete, Pete. Yeah. Pete. It's perfect. It is, yeah, no, you're right. He's lovely. He's great. He's vulnerable. And given, like, the opportunity, he probably would bomb a lot of people. Katniss Everdeen, <laughs> they've gone with Carrie. I don't think Carrie has a dark streak. Carrie is just, like, pure, unadulterated, Lovely innocence. Goodness. Do you think Carrie then is better as Prim? Well, now here's the issue. I realised for Katniss, someone who might be perfect, is Dodie. She's unassuming, you wouldn't suspect her, and then this thing happens and she would just fucking step up to the plate and then just shock the world with how potentially dark her soul is. <laughs> the dark songs where she just says it like it is and you're like, ooh, oh wow, I didn't... Well, I wasn't expecting that from Dodie, but she's just gone and done that, hasn't she? I think she could kill people. And then, when we said that, it became apparent that... Obviously. Hedy would be prim. Hedy would be prim. We're gonna go back to Hamish. Okay, so the thing was that we thought if I wasn't President Coin, 
in a world where I wasn't there, Tom would be. It would be Tom. God. Tom would overthrow the establishment in this in an attempt to help the common people. But he would absolutely retain power and fuck shit up. Oh yeah. Um, so are you Hamish? <laughs> you are oh, Hamish. I love Hamish. We've been thinking about this. Oh, we've, we've been thinking about this to gender. gender. It's, genders will always trip everyone. Hamish. You're Hamish. That's brilliant. Oh, I'm the drunk aunt who's there, sort of like begrudgingly helping. I do care, but You're I don't so want to show it. We've we've done it. There. We've done it. Don't forget to head on over to Chewing Sand and subscribe. Lots of good content. Lots of content. Soon we'll be rehashing our annual Christmas bake-a-thon. <laughs> ah, we filmed it last night. It's an absolute shit show. And all that's left to say <clears throat> is may the odds be ever in your favour. That's the catchphrase from the film. Mine is my favourite thing in the world. I love lime so I much. I like pyjamas. <laughs> <laughs>